Hi, Intermediates. We're back and we're going to cover the Lepidoptera group that Intermediates and Seniors both need to know. If you're a junior, you're not responsible for this information for the 4-H contest, but of course you're always welcome to sit in and listen. If you're an Intermediate or a Senior, make sure you also listen to the junior insects because you are responsible for those. So Lepidoptera are our butterflies and our moths. The host is going to vary depending on the species and their status or their significance is going to vary it's, they're either inconsequential, a pest, or they're beneficial. So you have to know about them to be able to guess what, what that is. Um, intermediates will need to know the alfalfa caterpillar. Alfalfa caterpillar is, um, the some people call it like a clouded sulfur butterfly, but it's the yellow um, butterfly that we see flying around in fields. The host, of course, is going to be alfalfa and they are considered a pest because they'll lay their eggs in the alfalfa fields and the caterpillars will eat up the alfalfa. Remember, if there's, an, if there's a name of a plant in the insect's name, 99% of the time it's going to be a pest. Bagworms are an odd um, caterpillar or, or moth. The larva builds these bags. It, ha it exudes um, silk all over its body, spins a silk kind of cocoon, and then it takes those pieces of juniper or leaves. They're not, they don't, aren't just found in juniper, but they're found everywhere. And they'll stick it to their body or to the outside of that silk. And then they'll move that bag. They'll live inside that bag and move it, pop out to feed, go back inside and move along as they go. Um, they, the host for the contest is juniper, and they are considered a pest in, in large populations. They will completely defoliate a tree. They're very weird. Um, butterfly or moth because once, once they finish being the larva, of course, they become a pupa. They'll have a complete life cycle if you're a Lepidoptera. The pupa lives inside that little case that it's built for itself, its house. If it is a male, it will fly out and it will look like a, a moth, small moth. If it is a female, it almost um, reverts back to being like a, a grub or a maggot-like Thing. So it looks, it looks um, less advanced as an adult female than it did as the caterpillar. So they're a, a, an odd, a strange insect to study. Cabbage loopers are a pest that's found on coal crops. Coal crops are anything that we grow in the cold weather usually, but it's things that grow in a head. So cabbage, broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. Those are all considered our coal crops, C-O-L-E crops. Um, on the contest, I'm not 100% sure if you are going to see the caterpillar or if you are going to see the adult. The caterpillar is <clears throat> um, green and it loops, and I think that's what you're, you're going to have to look at. The adult looks kind of like an armyworm uh, or a fall armyworm moth except that its um, hind wings are, are darker and the army, fall armyworm's wings are were really white, really light in color. <clears throat> so these are a pest. The host is coal crops. The pest form, though, is the, is the ca caterpillar, not the adult. Giant swallowtails look kind of like our black swallowtails. These are the largest butterflies that we have in North America. They have yellow on a back, black background. What's different about them and the black swallowtail is that they have this extra line on the top across their wings of yellow that the black swallowtail did not have. They are found on citrus. The adults are good enough as a pollinator to be considered beneficial. The larva will feed on the citrus leaves and, and young stems, and they're called orange dogs because they look like um, well, I don't know why they're called orange dogs, but they're called orange dogs and they look like bird droppings. So that's a, um, a form of uh, an adaptation to help them survive better. They don't generally do enough damage. They don't lay enough eggs and have enough babies on the citrus for the, for the caterpillars to do enough damage on the citrus to consider them harmful. Um, great, greater wax moths, it's greater, not great. Greater wax moths are a giant pest that are found in beehives because the larvae feed on the wax of the beehive. And they will tunnel through the comb 
um, chewing on that wax as they go. They feed on the honey. They feed on the pollen. They poop where they're going, and so they'll they'll leave a mess everywhere they've left behind. They leave their frass behind, which is their feces. They leave um, webbing behind. They'll drill into the wood of the of the beehives. So just a major major pest if you're a beekeeper. The host is going to be, of course, a beehive. Lepidoptera, as these all are, is the order. Greater wax moth is the common name. The, the harmful form is the larva that does all the damage. The moths just lay their eggs there. Pink bowl worms. Remember, a bowl is a, um, is a part of a cotton plant, so the host for this is going to be, co is going to be called cotton. These are a pink larva. So I think if you see a picture of a larva and it has a pink in color, it's not the cabbage looper because that guy's green and it's not the greater wax moth because that guy is creamy. It's white. So if it's pink, you've got yourself a pink bullworm and it is definitely a pest. Silver spotted skipper. Skippers are kind of an intermediate between butterflies and moths. They're thick like a moth, but they have wings like a butterfly and they have thicker, wider heads, um, but their antenna have a little knob on the end of it, and that's what makes it a skipper versus other things. The only skipper that you guys have to know is the silver spotted skipper. So if you see those antenna with those little hooks, that's what it has to be. These are considered inconsequential. Um, they're found on black locust trees, but they don't eat enough to cause enough damage as a caterpillar. Skippers are called skippers because when they fly, they kind of bounce, they kind of hop, they skip along. Um, and this guy is inconsequential, found on black locust trees, siphoning mouth parts as the adult, chewing mouth parts as the caterpillar. And the last insect that intermediates are responsible for or in our intermediate group is the tomato hornworm. Tomato hornworm is the caterpillar feeds on tomatoes, obviously, so the host is going to be tomatoes. The adults have the sucking mouth parts, the siphoning mouth parts, but the big giant caterpillars feed on, chew on the tomato plants. What you're going to see is the adult. And so it looks like a, it's also called a sphinx moth. It has the dots along its back that are kind of yellow in color. Um, just kind of has the general shape with the, with the wings of what we call a sphinx moth. So these are the, the additional um, intermediate in Lepidoptera that you guys need to know. Seniors, make sure you log on later to learn all of your senior-only insects.